Hi guys, again, I'm so, so, so sorry, it's been so long. Literally, my iPad has literally just died, and no matter how much I charge it, it does not want to charge. So I'm currently filming on my mum's, like, tablet, and so I hope this is, like, actually, like, better quality. Um, so today I'm going to be doing a testing pan makeup, because a few of you have asked for it, so, and I'm sorry it's been, like, so long as well, like, I've only just thought about filming on this, so I'm really, really sorry. Two videos are, are actually hopefully going to go up today. Um, if not, I'm sorry, I'll get on it as soon as I, I can. But I'm just going to start off with this, which is the foundation. So I've got the Makeup um, Gallery, gorgeous, flawless, long-lasting foundation. And I'm just going to use one of the sponges. Um, my shade is in ivory, and oh my god, it's freezing. I'm just going to put these in little mirrors. Okay, this is really annoying. Let me just... So I can get, like, close-ups. Oh my god, it's freezing. It's a very low coverage. It doesn't really cover at all. Um, which I don't really like, to be honest, because it actually looks disgusting. So I'm just going to... The smell is disgusting as well, so I'm just going to show you what it looks like after. Okay, I don't know if you can see that, but it's quite orange if you leave it there for a long time. I look quite, like, pale. I don't know what happened to the lighting, but it is quite orange. Um, I would not recommend this foundation. It actually smells of, like, rotten egg. Like, the Bean Boozled Challenge is <laughs> just absolutely disgusting. So, I'm actually just going to go on to the concealer. And this is the Makeup Gallery High and Chic Concealer in Ivory. Now this is literally, I've actually used this before, and it's wrecked, where it's like so flimsy, and it's just wrecked. But it's actually a good concealer. It's quite thick, which sometimes I just like, like, I need to get a new one, because, who, like, it's quite sticky. But sometimes I feel like I like that in a foundation because like you know it's gonna stay on. So I'm just gonna put it on like the high points on my face. Um yeah, but I do need a new one, it's like disgusting. But yes, <laughs> I look really weird but so I'm just going to blend it. Sometimes I feel like I need to scrape it along my face just for it to blend. But I don't feel like I'm like buffing it into my skin. I just feel like I don't even know, like, I just feel like it's just not, like, look, if I just, like, buff it into my skin, it's not even going, so you're going to have to, like, drag it along your face, like, in, like, hard concealers like this, it's absolutely, like, it's quite, it's better coverage than the foundation, I don't really know how, but it is, and it's just so pretty, that blends quite well. And I guess it depends how much you put on the product as well, I guess. So I'm actually just going to, like, blend this in. I just dropped it. I'm going to continue to blend this in and then show you what it looks like. Okay, so overall, I actually really like that concealer. It's quite a good coverage. Um, it's very brightening, which I love. And obviously my, like, forehead, like, here, um, is a bit, like, dry and everything. But I don't think that's because of the foundation. Like, no matter what I use, it's, like quite drying so that is probably why so yeah and again like the lighting's just gone really dark so I'm really sorry if it just keeps changing so now I'm going to move on to the powder um I didn't act like my powder actually smashed so I'm really sorry for that <laughs> um so I just have the MUA one instead because they're both a pound and this is just the translucent one. And I'm just going to use a fluffy powder brush and just powder my face with this. I, I don't know why it's going. Hold on, let me just do that and then... Does that help? I don't know. But I'm just going to powder my face. Woman, like, the focus is, like, really light. <coughs> if you've tried any of these products, just please, like, list it down below. And see if you think they are good. 
for any other brand you would like to try, like, let me try and attempt. So yeah, all in all, like, I know it's not a Poundland powder, but I actually really like this powder. Result! <laughs> and then, um, I do have a bronzer, but I think it's in my drawer, I don't have it on me, so I'm just going to go get it in my drawer. Okay, so I found the bronzer. Um, the one I have is the Makeup Gallery Good to Glow Matte Bronzer. And this is in Matte Light 1. And it's like the beautiful shade. I've actually used this before. And it's just such a pretty shade. And I'm just going to use one of my brushes. They do actually sell brushes. But um, I just didn't pick any up. So I'm just putting it on like the... Um, contours of my cheeks and then my like temple dusting it up to my forehead and just bringing it a little bit down below as well brush a bit of my eyes and then do the other side I'm not too bothered about being precise at the minute I mean they have brought out like a little mini contour kit but I haven't done that in like a first impression video yet so I feel like I can't put it into a tutorial tutorial sorry okay so this I'm um, also put it down my neck see like the lighting's fine now but it's gonna go dark in a minute I put so many lights on it's unreal so I'm just like that on my face um and now I it's time for the blush and I'm really excited for these I've got all four shades that I can like get my hands on this one is Candy Floss number two. And these are called the Feeling Blush Blushes. And I'm just going to use my beautiful dusting powder brush. And just dusting this onto my face, like on my cheekbones. And I'm just adding quite a lot of this because I just, this shade is so flattering. And I feel like I never, like... I don't know, I feel like I never use up blushes, and I don't know, so I'm just putting this all over my face, and then I'm going to move on to the slightly like highlighter -y bit, so I'm just going to put this down my neck, on my forehead, along my eyes a little bit, okay, moving on to highlight-ish, um, it's the Makeup Gallery Good to Glow Highlighting Powder. And it is kind of highlighty, highlighty, is that even a word? And I'm going to use my little highlighter brush. It's got a slight shimmer in it, so I'm just going to pop it onto my cheeks. If you want like a slight highlight, I feel like this is the one. But if you want like an intense highlight, I wouldn't go for this. Like, I don't know, you may think this is an intense highlight, but it's really not. Okay, next I'm moving on to eyeshadow, and I've just got the makeup, I've just got one. Um, actually, I have actually got more, but I'm just going to use like a pale colour this time. Um, it's the Makeup Gallery um, eyeshadow. It's called the Colour Story, and this is in the shade of Cappuccino. Don't know if that's going to focus. But I have this beautiful blending brush, and I'm, as, as you can see, I've used this a lot um, because I really like it. Um, so I have tested a few bits before. Um, I'm just going to be putting this in my crease and just kind of like building it up because, as you can see, it's got like a warm brown on it now. Um, I really do like this. And I'm sorry if you can hear the traffic as well. It's really loud today. So I'm just building it out more on the outside and then putting it in. And then I'm just going to be doing that through both eyes until you get the colour you want. Now I'm going to try and attempt to do eyeliner. It might go terribly wrong, but I'm not perfect. So now I'm just going to be doing... I know, that's it. This is the 
Makeup Gallery Pro Liquid Liner, and I don't know why the mouth is like lagging. Um, let me just try and pause it and then try again. Okay, I hope this is a little bit better. So this is the Pro Liquid Liner, and I'm just going to be. This is quite like a thin brush. I'm just going to be putting this on my lid. Um, oh my god, I'm gonna fail. Um, just gonna try and do a wing. Oh my god, I'm one of my eyelash. Oh well. Oh my god, this is pretty good for me. This always happens, look. Down here. Um, I'm just like focusing so much. I can't do flicks to save my life. Oh, I'm just gonna do both my eyes and then tell you what it looks like because I can't do it on camera with so much pressure. Okay, so I've done my eyeliner. It is really, really bad. Look. That one's really good, but that one's terrible. <laughs> I can't believe it. This is why I like never do eyeliner. And um, it's kind of burning a little bit. Oh my god, it's like transferred a little bit, but what can you do? Okay. I'm like one of those like really fussy people. Well, not like really fussy, but like when it comes to makeup, I want it to be quite decent, and I won't buy something if it looks bad. So I'm not buying the Panama mascaras because they had hair all over it. They were opened. Um, they were pretty much really like minging, and they were all like not all of them, but they were like cracked or it had like bronzer smudged on it or it was just thrown on the shelf and I just not like that so I've actually got this one which is the make uh, natural collection um, this is a great affordable brand this is like $1.99 and uh, I, I bought the lash build mascara and this is amazing the brush is so good and I friggin love it so I'm just going to apply this to my eyelashes it's quite a good like colour I guess but when I have lid line like lid line eyeliner on um, my eyelashes don't really show that much so I've got to build it up I don't know why I put my hand on my cheek like it's just a habit um I try and get right to like the bottom of the lash roots like I'm going to show you like look at that like it's normally a lot like more volumed so I'm gonna come back to you when it's a lot more volumed okay so like as you can see it's a lot more coverage on my eyes so it's a lot more like volumed excuse like the terrible eyeliner but that was actually like really good I'm really impressed with this side <laughs> And this side's just shocking. But anyway, this lipstick, um, it's called Makeup Gallery, all about the pout colour moisture lipstick. Couldn't get that out then. And this is in the shade 03 Naked Brown. Again, I don't know if it'll focus, but I'll try. Are you going to focus for me, please? Focus. Focus, focus, focus. It's not going to focus. I'm really sorry about that. But I have used this before and it is beautiful. Look at this shade. Oh, it is stunning. Oh, it's so nice. So, go pick it up. I start off by doing a line down the middle and then I go where my natural lip shape is. So, I just go around on the top. And 
then you can like fill it in. And then fill the bottom in. I've got quite dry lips. But it's so pretty. It is so pretty, it's just absolutely stunning. Like whenever I wear this, I feel like, I don't even know. It's just so pretty. <laughs> I think it goes like really well with this makeup look as well. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below or in the corner. And I will see you in my next video. I will be wearing the same top because I'm like filming loads of videos today because I feel really sorry for you guys, <laughs> like, not having my videos, um, because of technical faults, which I should have sorted out sooner, so I'm really, really sorry for that, I hope you still like this video, and I hope you still are watching me, and you enjoy my videos, and subscribe if you're not already, because it will just mean the world to me, and I love you guys, like, you mean so, like, so much to me, and I would not be here without you guys, support, so thank you so much for that. So I'll see you guys next video. Bye!